just want to say, boys, this is potentially our last pod for the year. So I wanted to have a look at what the future holds in 2024. Because, <laughs> you know, I put Joe on the spot. He came up with a great prediction, so I'll put you guys on the spot again. So, Rog, I'll come to you first because this one might be a bit close to your heart. But who will be the All Blacks captain in 2024? So Sam Kane's going to hang around. But you know, a new coach, you know, potentially new leaders. Who do you think will be the All Blacks captain in uh, 2024? Or Sam Kane still hanging around? I think Sam Kane will still be there. So I'm I'm sort of divided. It's either going to be out of three players. Oh, come on. <laughs> so either Scott Robertson goes with the tried and true in Sam Kane, or there's been a lot of noise about Artie's ability to take over leadership, and he's captain a, a number of games now. So does Artie become the captain? Or look at the losses that we're making in our second row. And Brody Retallick, and then the losses that we've had with uh, Sam Whitelock. Whitelock. Mm-hmm. So all that experience. And who's the guy that's been able to split that uh, legendary pairing in the last few years? Scott Barrett. So that's my bolter there in that department. Scott Barrett, and because of his versatility as a six, as we've seen in this Rugby World Cup, and even before that, for him to be part of that engine room in in the locking department, he will be definitely part of that leadership group for Scott Robertson, and whether he gets or not ahead of the other two that I've mentioned. Ooh. Joy, mate, you got any thoughts? He's going to be the all-black captain next year. New coach. Sam Kane still staying here. Unfortunately, um, I don't see Kane lasting through a whole Super Rugby season. I see him getting injured, possibly a head knock. And I'm sorry if you ever watched this, Sam. <clears throat> sorry, uh, it's just a just a prediction. But um, he's five away. He's five away from getting a hundred. For the oh, five away. I just, I just think Sam is a risk unto himself, um, and possibly needs to look at his style of uh, playing number seven role um, because he his style doesn't seem to be conducive to uh, longevity in terms of um, being injury free and. Um, he just needs to worry free. about five more tests that's all he doesn't care about just get him to that hundred and then he can retire happy <laughs> and, uh, and I really do hope he gets that, that milestone um, you know he deserves it at the same time Yeah, I, I hear what you're saying in John. terms of um, if he does get injured I think the captaincy will have to go to like you say uh, possibly a Scott Barrett or um, Adi Savia and, you know, the three of us, we have discussed this previously in a previous episode that Adi, when given the armband of captaincy, doesn't tend to play to the level that we know and love of Adi Savia. So um, maybe Scott Barrett having the, the, the leadership role um, isn't such a bad thing for Adi's game. But if Adi can prove that, yep, with the armband, his game doesn't lose out, or you know we don't lose out as fans seeing the Adi Savia factor, then great, give him the captaincy. But you know, like like you said, Rog, it will be a toss up between you know Scott Barrett and Adi if Sam isn't uh, physically available. Because it could be a clear cut though, because with Scott Robertson coming in. He might not even have Sam Kane in his his first yeah. uh, selection, That's his right. first selection of All Blacks. So, mm. um, and so he, remember, there's no fairy tales in rugby. So, as much as we would love Sam Kane to get a hundred, mm. he might not necessarily get there. We've yeah. got, um, you know, a lot of All Blacks have never won a Rugby World Cup. Nepal Lorala retires after fifty odd tests with. Two World Cups under his belt, no no World Cup championship. So, yeah, no fairy tales. And Moonga as well. 
no no World Cup <laughs> titles either for him. Damn. So we'll have to come back and uh, play for Samoa and then do one. <laughs> but oh, you know, we're laughing guys, we're laughing guys. <laughs> <laughs> but I would accept quarterfinals. That would be an amazing achievement. Can they? Can Samoa just at least get like a a few more tier one games in between World Cups? They'll be happy. Mm, yeah, yeah, true. But, yeah. Another discussion. But you but, know, um, yeah, and at least fifty percent of gate takings. <laughs> <laughs> It'd just be interesting to see where um, where Scott Robinson's direction is because. Mm. Sam Kane might not necessarily be factor into his plans, and that that'll be a a sort of you know a sad sort of way for Sam Kane. But I, I think in a way he probably knows that's the, that's a possibility. Like a lot of All Blacks and a lot of players and and whatever team know that you know it's never guaranteed uh, making selection or being getting a contract. So I think they've got to yep. first work out. That, Super Rugby come Super Rugby and then whether they factor into that given they've done enough and sometimes being the incumbent is um, you, you're just a game away from you know being not selected so be interesting yep. to see because like like we mentioned there's the likes of does Karifi get a chance does uh, Tom Christie nope. get a time to shine nope. you know so there's a couple <laughs> of and then you've got uh, Highlanders Dalton Bill Harmon as well, another one. So, you know, there's some good loose forwards around them. But if Sam Kane can produce that game that he did, reproduce that game that he played against Ireland in that quarterfinal, and that was shades of what Steph uh, Detroit was doing, just smashing into everything. And Sam Kane was just a rampaging bull that time too against the Irish. So, But it's... The consistency of those performances. How often can he produce those kinds of right. performances? Because then against Argentina, he wasn't as um, you know noticeable. Um, but then, you know, unfortunately, his um, demise at the final was due to a red card, and he wasn't able to have any further part in it. But mm. yeah, yeah, I, I don't think he will be the All Black captain. I think his captaincy is over. I think. Um... Like, I'm a big advocate of you pick your best 15 and you find a captain in amongst that. So that, that was always the criticism of guys like Ruben Thorne, who we've talked about previously, where he's in the team because he's the captain. But if he wasn't the captain, he probably wouldn't have made the starting lineup. Do you think Tane Randall Kane was, suffered from that? Do you think Tane Randall's in that same bracket? Yes. In a, in a mm. little bit of a way. Yeah. Uh, and Sam Kane, a little bit is, is in that bracket. Not as bad as Ruben Thorne, but a little bit in that bracket. So I think you pick your best 15 and you find a captain amongst that. And that boils down Scott Barrett's in the best 15 and Artie's in the best 15. But then it I comes down to that's what, what I guarantee that. Preference, right? Every coach is different, right? And so, like like we say, like it might not be the public's outcry and saying, no, nah, he's not the favourite, but then it might be preference for that coaching group coaching group or the player group and so who's to say Sam isn't he's been a good captain um, he's, he hasn't been a Richie McCaw he hasn't been able to hoist he's the... been Richie McCaw because he hasn't commanded a spot the way Richie McCaw did I don't. I wouldn't say that Richie McCaw was a, a better or maybe he was he was no he was he was a better captain per se but he also his spot was was never in jeopardy and that was mm-hmm. always Sam Kane's issue I think he's a good captain but I don't know if he always commanded a starting spot. Mm. Mm. So it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm putting my money... I don't know how, how, how close he is to the Crusaders. He might go for Scott Barrett, because I didn't actually consider Scott Barrett. I was actually going to go for Adi. But maybe... maybe, maybe he's Adi would be a fan favourite. You know, he's obviously... I don't think um, there's going to be too much issue. I don't think, personally, if Adi does get the captaincy. But I just feel that in that engine room, we had the White Locks and the and and Rotalic, who are now um, we've seen the, the end of them. Um, yeah, Scott Barrett might have the upper hand. Mm-hmm. And I think Joy, your your point earlier about you know sometimes the captaincy does uh, affect them, so uh, that could be a factor. Um, mm. We'll see how that goes. 